Hey guys, welcome back to Talking Runs and Making Runs. Today we're going to be introducing our two ball run series. Today we brought in Jennifer Moore, who is a low rated player. Uh, we get to see the inside of a mind of a low rated player as they look at the table. So what are you for your skill level? I'm a skill level two. Skill level two. What bars do you shoot out of? I shoot currently out of three bars. Oh. Uh, yeah, Wednesday, Thursday, and Sunday out of Buds, Hans, and the Long Cabin. Well, a little shout out to those bars. Um, also, another reason why we're putting this together is so that way, you know, they don't have to waste the time out. That way they can already see what they should be doing on the table. So let's take it to the table. Sounds good. All right, so your last ball here is set on the rail and the eight ball's in the middle of the table. So your object is to get good shape on your eight ball. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit the bank, kind of cushioning the blow and driving that ball into the pocket. Then I'm going to take the cue and it's going to come somewhere off that end rail there and come towards the other pocket. All right, so what you want to do is you want to draw your cue ball back so that you get shape on the eight ball in the corner. Uh, that way you don't have an up the table shot. You want it to be nice and easy. Just get down, stroke, and sink your eight ball in the corner. So Jen didn't have a uh, strong draw shot, so we had to practice it a few times. Um, the more she practiced it, the better she got at it, and eventually she was able to pull the shot back. So these shots have always made me nervous because I've followed the ball in to the pocket more than a few times. So learning how to do the draw has been very beneficial. So as you can see, after some practice, she was able to draw the shot back and get perfect shape on the eight. Um, so we made her take the eight ball shot into the corner. She executed it flawlessly. All right, all I want her to do now is to figure out where she wants to shoot to get good shape on the eight ball. So she chose to shoot the five ball into the corner pocket which wasn't so bad, and even though that she got shape, there was an easier way. So instead of shooting away from the eight ball, I wanted her to shoot towards the eight ball, cutting the ball slightly, but with top. I also asked her to designate a zone that she wants the cue ball to end up. So now, with a nice steady stroke, with a little bit of top, about a half a tip, hits the rail, and then comes up table into a good zone. On her first try, she misses the ball by undercutting, but also she has a little problem with her speed control. Second time, she actually makes the ball, but again, her speed control is lacking. So I explained to her to vary her speed, all you have to do is shorten your bridge but you still have to keep the same speed through your follow through. So with a little bit of practice, again, she misses it, but she found the speed that she, ch she wanted. This time she shot a little too hard, but this time shoots it perfectly. So for this shot, I set up two balls near the corner. She did a great draw shot. She brought the cue ball up the table. Uh, but I explained to her that you can shoot the same shot with top and get a little bit closer to the eight ball so that you don't have such a long distance shot. Um, so I explained to her that this is the area that you want to leave the cue ball in uh, by using top when you use the shot or when you take the shot. So I executed it, showed her exactly in the zone where she should need be when she's done. She took a few practice shots. Um, she struggled with speed control, so we again went through the bridge and shortening up the distance between your bridge hand 
and the cue ball to shorten up the amount of follow through that you would need to do to control your speed. In this example, I have two balls on opposite ends of the table. She decided to shoot a short stop shot. Unfortunately, that left her a long bank. Trying to make a long bank was difficult, so I asked her maybe if you got closer to the eight ball at an angle would be a little bit better. So, based on her setup, all she had to do was just move the ball so she has natural English to go down table. With a little bit of running English and a steady stroke, the ball naturally goes down to the correct angle and zone. So she tried it a couple times. Uh, she missed it, but then after a while, she found the speed that she was looking for, and all she had to do was just put the two together. All right, everything that we showed you on the table, do you think that's going to help you during your games? I definitely feel that the tips that I was shown tonight will be able to be applied to future matches. Absolutely. As long as you do everything that we showed you tonight, repetition, um, I think it'll help you. I want to say special thanks to Jennifer Moore for coming out and helping us video tonight. Also, comment, subscribe below. You could be next on our show. So, hopefully we'll see you on the tables.